We're here with Natalie Cook, our Gatorade National Track and Field Athlete of the Year, Cross Country Athlete of the Year. Flower Mound High School in Texas. Yes, sir. Californian should recognize your name. You competed out here at Woodbridge, third at the Woodbridge Classic. You enjoyed some phenomenal success in cross country and in track and field. Uh, 5K, of course, at Stanford, the 1525, was the 436, the 948. An incredible ledger. Thank you. Uh, one thing, I mean, in the past you had a bit of a situation with anxiety, and now you seem more yes. relaxed. There's, there's that. There's hints of success. Uh, the limelight nowadays of social media. It's, it's kind of a great story. What for you has, what have you learned most about yourself during the high school years, would you say? Um, to, well, <laughs> I like to say to stay off like social media during the season. I feel like that helped a lot. And me talking to my parents a lot really helped. Like they also had experience with pro, my mom ran pro for a little bit for New Balance. So she knew she experienced like anxiety and all that stuff, so just reaching out to her and my dad really helped get through those hard times. And yeah, they're really supportive. I'm really happy to have them. When did the light go on for you as to, wow, I am really good in these sports? You know, when did it really, when, when did it go on as far as what's, what's capable of? Um, I've been running since I was seven. I used to do summer track with my team, so I always had a passion for running. I used to start as a little sprinter, I made it to state in the four by one. So yeah, I was first leg, oh, go me. <laughs> but yeah, that was great. And then in middle school, I really started getting after it. Um, I ran in eighth grade, I broke five minutes in a mile. I ran 456. And that was, that was when I knew I had it in me and all that stuff. So I joined cross country my um, freshman year of high school. And it just took off from there. I had some bumps in between, but I overcame them. And yeah, I'm really happy about it. You had some injuries yes, over I multiple did. seasons. What's, what advice would you give to other runners that might seem for a short time to be injury prone? It's, it's gonna get hard sometimes. And sometimes you're gonna really lack motivation. There's one point where I'm just like crying. I'm just like, I wanna be done. Like, I, I don't understand why does my body like expect let me run. So I came up a way like where I can run, but I can also stay injury free. So I'm on a low mileage plan basically. And I supplement a lot to cross training. And the days where I'm not that motivated to cross training, I'm just like, well, other people are doing it the other way. So you gotta figure out a way. So this is my way and it just gets me to just keep on going. Oklahoma State is next. Yes. How excited. I am so excited. I'm so pumped. I move in August 13th, so that will be so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to join the team. And Nationals is on our home course this year, so. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, excellent. What are you majoring? Do you know yet? Or no? um, I don't know exactly yet. Maybe business, but I don't know yet. We will see. The future will tell. Even though I think Texas didn't close down too, too much during COVID, correct me if I'm wrong, as far as where you're from, which pocket of Texas, but did you, did you see the sport change much, especially during the COVID years for you? Um, I feel like it did a lot. Like, I was injured during the COVID years, during the COVID, so, um, yeah, I was supposed to, like, go back to state, but they canceled state, and I was trying to come back from a stress fracture, like, in less than the amount of time I should be doing, so, yeah. Um, I feel like the sport has changed a little bit. You can tell, like, who actually, like, put in the effort during COVID, because some people can definitely, like, lack motivation during the time pandemic really changed the whole in our world but it's sort of coming back to normal again sort of. all right Natalie again a great story overcoming injuries overcoming anxiety being phenomenal on the, on the course it's in our Gatorade National Cross Country Athlete of the Year thank you very much thank you